Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to properly complete your domain three, lesson one assignment. First thing is, let's bring your attention over into Teams. So when you click on assignments in Teams, you will see the lesson listed there. I have included in the instructions, the URL that you have to go to, complete with all of the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to find the learn key assignment. We are working in domain three, manage tables and lists, and you are to click on lesson one, create tables. The first thing that you are supposed to do is to actually watch the videos, followed by completing the in-browser version of the exercise labs. Now what that's going to do is, it's going to help you to be able to complete the workbook assignments that is uh, the final product that you have to turn in that will be graded. When you are in Teams, all you have to do is you are going to click on Files. When you click on Files, here are all of the files that you need for each of the lessons that we have completed thus far. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first things first, let's go over into LearnKey. So to go into LearnKey, the URL is www.gmetrics and you'll see I already have it pre-populated here. And then you are going to log in. Now when you log in, you can go to courses, scroll down to your course, And I'm just going to disregard that for now. And let's go into lesson one. Okay, here it is. Domain three, manage tables and lists. Lesson one. And I'm going to go straight to the workbook. So let me minimize my side tab and make this bigger. So we're going to skip this. You are not to complete the fill in the blanks. This is not part of your assignment. And we are going to work on the first part, the first page. And this page is page 21. So on page 21, it says open the file 311 class schedule. So what I'm going to do is I am going to minimize my teams. I have already downloaded my files, all right? But just in case you do not remember how to do that, all you have to do is, here is my file, 311 class schedule. Click on the three dots and then click on downloads. So that's a quick recap on how to find the files that you will need in order to complete the assignment. Okay, so I'm going to minimize that and I am going to open up Word. Now, what I have done is I have already downloaded all of the files that I will need. So I am just going to uh, go to that folder where I keep all of my files when I, when I need them. So that's on my desktop. And here it is, sample workbook. And here are my files, domain three. And I am opening up three. So let me shrink this down just a little bit, just to make it easier. And just move this over right here. So we've completed step number one. Step number two, converts the text in the class schedule section into a table using the convert text to a table option on the ta uh, table gallery. So the first thing is, here is this class schedule section. So I am going to select, take my cursor and drag it over. And this is where we'll stop, we'll stop right here. And what I need to do is I need to convert the text in the class schedule section into a table. So what I'm going to do is click insert. 
click the drop down under table and then you will see convert text to table so I'm going to click on that don't close it just yet why because you still have to do step number three which is use the auto fits to window option and separate the text into cells at the tab characters so here it is right here I have to use auto fit and notice that you'll see there are two types of auto fit one says auto fit to contents and the other one says auto fit to window in our assignment we are choosing use the auto fit to window option so I'm going to choose that and uh, my text is separated by tabs and then I'm going to click OK. And that's it for the first lesson. All you have to do now is save. So I am going to go file, save as, make sure you know where you're saving your work. Uh, for this particular one, I am going to save it in my special location that I save all of my files. So I'm going to do that right now. So that's my desktop. And here are my workbook assignments. And here's the assignment right here. And remember the little trick that I showed you guys. All you have to do is select the name of the file, right click, copy, and now last name, first name, ID number, and the file name and then hit save. Okay, first page done. Let's go to the second page. And that is page 22. So for page 22, what we're doing is first, we are opening up file 312 class schedule. So I'm just gonna go to file, open. I'm gonna go to my files section where I, you know, where I keep all of my files and I am opening up 312. So this is 312, I've opened up 312, and the first thing is I need to scroll down to the hours table. So I'm going to scroll down. And here is the hours table right here. And what I'm going to do next, step number two, is convert the hours table into text and I'm going to use tabs as the text separators. So first thing is, let's go ahead and go into the table. And I'm going to click on under the table tools conceptual tab, click on layout. And on the right, you will see where it says convert to text. And now you have to choose how are you going to separate the text? Well, in the workbook, it wants you to separate it using tabs. So tabs is already pre-selected for me. All I have to do is click OK. Step number three, use the heading one style for the hours section of uh, heading, the hours section heading. So this is actually a review uh, from domain two. So the first thing is we need to select the word hours, okay? And under the styles group, click the drop down arrow. And we are going to choose heading one. Here's heading one right here. And you are done. Now all you have to do is save. So I'm going to select the name of the file, right click, copy, and now let me go ahead and save as. And I am going to save it. Let me save it in my assignments. Last name, first name, ID number, and the name of the assignment and save. Okay. 
last one in lesson one. For this one, we are going to create tables with specific options. So first things first, we are going to open up 313 class schedule. So file, open, and we are doing 313 class schedule. And the file is open. I'm just going to move it over here. I need to scroll down to the our instructors heading. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Here is the our instructors heading. And what I'm going to do is I am going to create a table with two columns and four rows. And I'm going to set the auto fit behavior to adjust the column widths to the contents. So I'm using auto fit to contents. First thing is click just below the our instructors heading and I am going to click on insert table and I'm going to choose insert table. And the reason why I'm going to choose insert table instead of doing this is because I have to choose the out of it uh, selection. And if I were to just do it like this, I would not be presented with the option to auto fit. So I need to click on insert table and pay attention to how many columns and rows. The workbook says two columns, four rows. So two columns, four rows, and this is where we choose the option to auto fit and we are auto fitting to contents. Click on there and then choose okay. And so now step number three, add the headings instructor and specialty to the top cells of the table. So all I have to do is start typing. So instructor, I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard and now I'm going to type specialty. Okay, perfect. Step number four, add the instructor's name, Cindy, Amy, and Bart. And we are doing it in the first column of each row. So Cindy, the down arrow on my keyboard, Amy, the down arrow on my keyboard, and Bart. Step number five, in the next column, next to their names, add the instructor's specialties. So Cindy, her specialty is cardio training, Amy's is strength training, and Bart's is swimming and yoga. So let's start with Cindy first. Cindy, cardio training. So for Cindy, and I want you to notice how the column expands. That's what auto fit to content does. All right. And so Amy is strength training. So let's go ahead and type strength training for Amy. And for Bart, Bart has swimming and yoga. Perfect. And we're done with this one. All we have to do is save. So I am going to just copy the name of the file. Come back over here, file, save as. Make sure you're always paying attention to where you are saving your work. I am going to save my work in my assignments. Same format, last name, first name, ID number, and the name of the assignment and save. Okay, guys, so the only thing left for you to do is go over into Teams and upload your assignment. You're gonna click on Add Work and Turn In. And you are officially done with Lesson 1 in Domain 3. See you next time for Lesson 2.